It is round number one, presented to you by Bear Claw. Follow them on social media. Unleash the power of the bear. Petey Coxon in the all black, in the blue, Horatius Alanu. See, Horatius already looking a lot quicker on his feet. Nice inside leg kick, trying to follow that up with a punch. Such a different opponent there for Coxon than what he had nice in Nice right hand by Coxon, though. Petey Cox in there, circling, looking for his spot. Alanu not backing up, staying in the middle of the hexagon. You can tell he's a great striker there, looking for his angles. Petey looking for that jab. I like how he's oh, nice Ooh, and he kick. caught that one right to the chin. And we're just going to see Cox a in there. Here. Cox in his landing. Left hand, right hand. Petey Coxon get the, the best of is in trouble here, Petey Coxon. Oh, not a, not a good guillotine situation there as the arm is in. And now he is underneath a very tough Horatio Solano. Interesting to see Horatio Solano look like the better of the two strikers, but we know Petey Coxon has got some dynamite in those hands, and it looked like he caught yeah. Horatio Solano some with thunder in one, his or hands. Two, <laughs> one or two shots. And now he's working for a Kimura is Petey Coxon. Wow, do we see the sub game? As you know, in his, his past fights are he's actually lost by submission. We'll see how good the sub game is of Alanu. Alanu is now in control. He's going to look to mount here. This could be trouble here if he starts raining down shots on Petey Coxon. And half guard is such a good position for Alanu to strike from. Petey Coxon looks like he's trying to tie him up or going for a two arm in guillotine almost. Trying to wall walk and get out of this position. Still a great spot for Horatius to be in. Not a lot of action here. Yeah, Coxon's done well just to tie him up and make sure that... And it's only a matter of time until this one gets stand up because they're not even throwing shots. You're not seeing any sort of pass by Horatius Alana. He looks a little lost on the ground right now, to be honest with you. If he could just use that, that, that right instep of his, he could pass. But now he's landing some good shots on Coxon. Watch out, Petey Coxon. Taking a little damage there on the bottom. This is not where he wants to be in this fight. He wants to be standing. Horatius is looking very strong from this oh, top yeah. position. Great control as well. And this is going to be exhausting for Petey Coxon. In this bottom position, you're constantly swiveling your hips Ooh, as Horatius Alano is hands. landing some good shots. Piston-like shots there by Horatius Alano. Up against the fence, Petey Coxon needs to try to walk his way back up the fence and get to his feet. Picasort watching very, very closely here. It, if there's not any sort of action here, he will stand him up. We've seen it before. He is moving and he's landing some nice elbows and nice short shots, but he's also not just throwing caution to the wind as Horatio Solano. He's picking his shots and they're landing. Now he's inside control. Petey Coxon is giving up his back here. Got to watch out. Even the most entry-level MMA fighter knows that rear naked choke, and if he gets the back, you know he's going to be looking for it. And it looks like Coxon has been opened up by one of those elbows from Lanu from that top position. You just don't have Another that good explosiveness. Elbow. You don't have the explosiveness from Petey Cox in there as he's trying to get a better position just to try to get to his feet. And he almost got there if he can get up. But no, he's, he's struggling a little up. bit with the strength of, of Horatio Zolanu. Oh, he's definitely struggling with the strength. He's having a hard time. And that's something coming into this fight that we knew he was just an incredibly strong fighter super, as Alana. Super, super strong. And you know what, for it being his MMA and as well as his EFC debut, he's looking very, very Absolutely. comfortable in there. Very comfortable. Petey Cox in here is going to have to use that veteran savvy to get out of this situation. If he could get Sticking up to his, his neck feet. out for a second, though. Now he's back standing. This and is here where, we go, the this fans. Is where Coxon had some luck early on. Watch out. Catches Horatius with a good stiff jab. Two strikers here. Petey Coxon's tired from being grounded out there on the bottom. You can tell he's a little weary here. 20 seconds. Getting real interesting here in the big top arena. Two sluggers looking for a KO. Ten seconds left. Are they going to make it out of round number one? A very eventful round number one. Very exciting there in the opening seconds. Very exciting in the 
waning seconds, and in the middle, it was all Horatio Solano. P.D. Coxon. Both men looking a little winded. They're breathing a little hard going into round two. Coxon is the one that's breathing a little bit harder of the two at the moment. But we've seen that from him many times before. He looks yeah. exhausted, and then he lands one big punch and gets his hand raised. Oh, big Ooh, shot by Shanu. Well, he just swerved out of the way there and landed that right hand. And P.D. Cox, he continues to move forward. You can only take so many of those. Just remember, though, that P.D. Coxon has never been knocked out. He has been finished by big, strikes, but never knocked out. Big overhand by Coxon as well. Coxon is certainly tight. He doesn't have that same sort of pep in those arms when no, he throws right. those punches. And you almost think Horatius is going to look for a takedown. He had a lot of success on the ground in that first round, especially from that top position. Very, very dominant. P.D. Coxon. Gracious Alanu in this welterweight matchup here. It's been a, a fan-friendly fight here. We've seen some pretty entertaining exchanges here between the two, and I think that's what people come to see. Still to come, of course, later on tonight, we have an incredible three title fights, and there they go. Coxon can take a shot. Oh, yeah. A great chin, and that, that comes from all the years of boxing and kickboxing. Thunder and Rage battling out here. Looking for a one-two, and he's just too slow. Just a, a step quicker there is Horatio Solano with these strikes. I think it's also, how, oh, nice kick up top, and Coxon is Petey done. Coxon might be done. He might Horatio be done. Solano is looking to finish, letting big, hard oh, shots. baby. Vickers slot steps in. Unleashing the rage is Horatius Alanu. So let's take a look. We know where it's going to start. Quick, boom. Lightning quick lands the kick and then chases it with that big right hand. Looks like it's a little short uppercut that oh, really yeah. did the big damage from there. And I mean, Vicar Swat, one of the best in the business. He saw enough after Horatius Alanu. Body. To the body, landed. to the chest, to the head. He was hitting everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. Vicar Swat happy that there was no coming back from that. Ladies and gentlemen, Referee Vickers Swart has called a stop to this contest. One minute and 40 seconds into round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Horatius Rage Alonu. I'm here with your winner, Horatius. It must have felt really good landing that head kick and following it up with a couple of big shots. Of course, it felt really, really, really good. We've been working on that move for quite some time now. I just can't say. Well, speechless, a very happy man. Just walk us through this, making your EFC debut. Obviously, very excited for your career and what lies ahead for you. Yeah, I've worked on these for over a year. I had to leave my family back home and come down here and train just to make this day. Well, congratulations. Big victory for you. We look forward to seeing you again. You want to, ladies and gentlemen, Horatius Alonu.